Hi everybody, greetings and welcome back. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who have been here and for those of you who are just coming for the first time, consider yourself welcome. The kitchen is to the left, the bathroom is to the right. Feel at home. Any questions? Oh, my hair. Oh yes, actually it's real. <laughs> it's so good to see you again. I'm so happy that you're here and uh, because you're here we're going to give you a treat. Now Glasses Kingdom is all about reacting, analyzing and of course reviewing different contents, materials across the world. Those that you have suggested or requested or those that YouTube suggested. Anyway, without further ado, um, Let's go into tonight's feature presentation. It's James Blunt, Monster. And of course, most of you that are watching right now, you know that I am here because of Iam Tongi, American Idol who blew the world away and had the judges crying. Like, very emotional story, very emotional performance. Even I shed a tear. You didn't see it, but I actually did. Um, while watching this performance. So now we have to see where it all came from. I didn't know of this song before American Idol. So now we got to see the original where it all began. So let's go to this well-written song. Hmm? Shall we? So daddy, won't you just go? 
No, the part of the song, well, this song, this song, first of all, this song is so well written. And one of the reasons why this song was well written is because this is literally a life experience. And it's a life experience that most of us, especially those of us that are of age, um, we know how it feels um, to have lost our father, especially if there was any form of love and great bonding there. I, I, enjoy the, I enjoy the entire song, but I enjoy the part, for some reason, this part touched me differently. I'm not your father. No, you're not my father. I am not your son. We are just two grown men. Wow. When you can take away the fact, when you can take away the father and the son part of it and just be two grown people understanding each other, speaking to each other, leveling with each other. That's just, that, that's just a great thing between a father and a son. You know, not many fathers and son have great conversations or have conversations where you can just be open. That's the whole idea of taking away the father title and the son title. It's a, it's a case where you can just open up to your father or open up to your son and tell them just about anything. You know what I mean? Two grown men. Wow, this is so touching. You know, when I saw Tongi version um, on American Idol, I said, wow, this had to be better than the original. It had to be better um, because it was so emotional, the story behind it and everything was just so genuine. But this, the song is actually what is really good. No, the voices, they are incredible. The voices, they are incredible. But the story, the story and the message of the song is what really evoke this amount of emotion um, you know, one can't help but shed a tear. You know, I, I never knew that I would feel this way because I've seen the song multiple times. So I, I didn't think I would feel a way about seeing the person representing his father, because I think maybe his father passed as well. I'm not sure of his story because I'm just reacting to the video. I didn't research the story. I'm going to have to do it now. So I think his father passed as well. Um, this person in the video may be just somebody acting as the father. I don't think that, <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. But beautifully rendered, beautiful song. And as I said before, this song could not have been written better. And I don't remember ever listening to a song. Well, that's not true. I've listened to a lot of song that is well written. But this one, for someone, reach home to me like it i guess i i am sure this song reaches home to you as well tongi did a great job to the song he did so much justice to the song that james blunt who was probably hidden from many of us worldwide is now opened up like everybody now knows of james blunt or actually uh, most of us will learn or find out more about james blunt james blunt Keep up the good work. Let me just say a little bit about the song and your production. I love the production. I love that the front of the song or the first half of the song was mostly piano. So it gave it this dark, airy, um, emotional feel, um, which was great. And then in the middle section, uh, the drum came in and the drum, like a little marching drum type of vibe. And that was so good because it was mostly in the background. So the vocals and the piano was in the foreground and taking dominance of the song, which is rightly done. So it's more like an acoustic vibe. So great production. His voice really matches the song and he chose the right key as well. You know, it wasn't too high. So the high range was right at the comfort zone and, you know, the low section was also right in his comfort zone based on what I'm listening to. So great performance, great video, um, great song, great lyrics, well written and overall amazing. All right, guys, let me know what else you would love to see here on Glasses Kingdom. Keep the comment section warm. Let me know what you think about this song, the lyrics, the story. 
Tongi, James, let me know what you think. Load the comment section. You can't type enough. I will read them. Trust me. If you don't know, I read comments and I, and I also um, respond to comments. So load the comment section with all the information you can possibly put in there. Let me know all about James, uh, more about Tongi. And more about the song, more about everything, and more about your thoughts. Let, you, let me know what you think. Your opinions and your thoughts are welcomed. And we look forward. I look forward to reading them. So, thanks for joining. Until next time, I am yours truly, T.R. Nayeri X. Peace.